Okay, let's do another, another assignment. We have completed six so far. Halfway to the free access code. Okay, you know the drill. Click on the bottom right to see your next assignment. It might take a while to load, just wait for it. Okay, after waiting a while, the list of assignments will appear. Click on the first one. Uh, we'll be doing the first no SQL database today. Click on the route and go. Then it'll bring you to the customer. Okay, click on the exclamation mark to talk to the customer. Okay, entertainment streaming service, click next to see what's the details. Dynamo DB. Okay, so we'll probably uh, learn more about the NoSQL database today. Okay, in this view, we will go through the diagram steps to see the overview. So this is the NoSQL, NoSQL. Next will be DynamoDB then we'll step through the details okay, so you can go through the video concepts click on the play it will bring you to the video listings uh, I'll go through the videos uh, I'll pause the video here I'll resume when uh, I'm done with the videos Okay, so we are done with the videos, all the details of the NoSQL database. Okay, click the X at the top right to exit this video concept page. Okay, here we click the plan. Then in the planning section, uh, it's split to practice lab and the DIY. So on the bottom right, click on practice. Then start lab on the top left. Then click on the open AWS console. That will open up in a new tab. Okay, so that's the new tab that uh, opened. Then we can step through the, the lab. At the bottom here, bottom left, click on the arrow to go to the next step. Okay, we'll be doing DynamoDB. So we'll search for that. Click on it. Then go to the next step. Step 3, create a table. They'll be here. Next step, step four, video, user video history. There'll be the table name. Video. Okay, so we have uh, just shifted this tab here, so we can see both tabs. User video history. There's table name, partition key, we'll be using user ID. Ok, 
Okay, uppercase I. Then it's the string. Okay, you have to scroll down a bit to see the next. Then we have uh, sort key. Sort key is last date watched. And there'll be a number data type. Okay, then we click on next step. Okay, so we'll scroll down, accept the default settings and create the table. So the settings keep it as default. And then we scroll down and create the table. Okay, next step, step six. So we'll review the status of the table. Okay, so we can click on the... Okay, we have to wait for a while to... for the status to change to active. Then you can click on the user video history. And go to the next step. Step 7. Okay, click on the radio button here. Then the action. The action drop down. Create item. Okay, next step. Step 8. We will go create in the user ID one two three four five A B C D no, eight nine. Okay, last watch date. That's the Unix timestamp one six one nine. One five six four zero six six one nine one nine. Okay. Then next step. New attribute. Choose the string. So that's uh, creating a new attribute, another row in this table. So we're entering video ID. The value will be nine seven nine eight seven five D J A C one eight. Okay, then go to the next step. Step 11 add another attribute uh, string. Okay, step 12 preferred language. value will be English next step step 13 another attribute this time will be the list okay next step step 14 supported device types Next step, step 15, insert a field drop down, choose string. Okay, then next step, 
step 16 in the value okay, I think I have to expand this I can scroll down the value we can enter Amazon Fire TV next step step 17 uh, insert a few string next step step 18 Amazon Fire Tablet and create the item and we go to the next step step 19 explore items they'll be on the left here Then we can click on the user ID that we created. Okay, here we can update the values. Okay, step 20. Click on the new attribute. We will insert a number. Next step 21 last stop I the value will be 90 save changes next step 22 okay step 22 we will click query items that will be on top here click on the query under user ID user ID we will enter one two three four five A B C D six seven eight nine Okay, then we choose last watch date last date watch to be greater than one six zero nine four seven seven two hundred. So this is a Unix timestamp. Then we will click run. Okay, then there will be items written. Uh, step 23 under items return review the record return okay so this is what it return the okay, next step step 24 query uh, change the query criteria query criteria user id field we change to a b d five e eight five okay then greater then we we'll keep it there click run items return is zero okay so there's like searching querying the database Okay, step 25 we will click the scan tab and click run okay run then it will return some items okay so that's the amazon dynamo db database okay step 26 we are done with the practice we can proceed to the diy section they'll be here on the bottom right okay so the diy section is uh there'll be a task and then there is no uh solution steps provided so 
we have to come up with a solution ourselves. Okay, so the activity is create a new user item with a unique ID. Then add attribute name, name rating. There will be a number. Okay, then the validation, we need to provide table name and user ID. Okay, let's try. Okay, so from here, we... Okay, can we reuse our table? Okay, under tables. Dynamo table name. Okay, let's create a new table. Create a new user item. Okay, let's uh, try to reuse the existing table. We click on the user video history. Then under actions, we create a uh, item under the item user ID okay, let's follow the example user ID would be a b c d 1 2 3 4 e f g h we'll just follow the example then new attribute uh, will be a number then the attribute name would be rating okay then we create the item okay so that's the item we can try exploring the items let's see if it uh, returns that line okay so we that's the user id that we created and the rating attribute okay so the dynamo db name is user video history and the item id a b c d one two three four e f g h Okay, then validate. Okay, so we have uh, okay correctly configured. So that's uh done. Then we can click the bottom right exit to go back to the customer to deliver the assignment. Okay, click on the exclusion mark to talk to the customer. Then we can choose our reward. Okay, so it's choosing the design. Okay, let's uh, choose the middle one. Okay, so we are done with the Dynamo Dynamo DB assignment. That will be the NoSQL database. Okay, that's the end of this video.